Welcome to another day in pre-K with Miss Susie. Hi, pre-kinders. Welcome back. Let's start off with our Days of the Week song so we know what today is. Days of the Week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Sing with me now. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. All right, if yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, May 5th, so it has been five days of May so far, and we are learning about insects again this month. So let's look at our question of the day. So our question of the day is, how are these insects alike? So I have two insects here. I have a grasshopper and I have a ladybug. And I want you to let me know how these two bugs or insects are similar or how they are alike. Let me know what you see that is similar between them. Okay, after you are done comparing the similarities of the two insects, you can listen to the read aloud insect quest hide and seek again. And then for literacy, you can do some following directions. So what I want you to do today is I want you to record yourself telling your own steps on how to cook or make something to eat. So you can just record a short video tutorial of you showing me or someone how to do something like making a sandwich. You can show us how to make a snack or s'more or make rice or how to do some kind of simple snack. So go ahead and record a video of yourself telling me what you would like to show me what you're going to make today. After that activity for math, you are going to learn about shapes with round curves. So we already learned about some of these shapes. We're just going to review them again. So I want you to watch the video that I have linked over there. And then I want you to take a photo of your shapes when you are done. These are the shapes of round curves that you are going to be learning about or revealing today. And then when you're done, I want you to draw a picture of them and take a picture of it. And after that, for your fine motor activity today, you're going to be using tongs. So if you don't know what tongs are, they're just utensils that you use to grab things. A lot of people use them to grab things that are hot or to grab things without using their hands to grab it. Because tongs are usually cleaner to use to grab food. So right here, this boy is using it to grab some food. And in this picture, this girl is using it to grab some balls. And so Today, you're going to practice using tongs. So if you have a tong in your house, in the kitchen, you can practice using it. There's different kinds of tongs. And so you can practice using it to pick up food objects. You can practice it to pick up your toys or small objects that you have. When you are done with that activity, that's almost it. And then you just have your sight words. So sight words, for this week is we have the word be and the word have so these are our two words this week and you can practice reading your flashcards or 
you can write the words down and you can trace it in your sight word packet if you have it on page 19 and page 20. And then when you're done, take a picture of it and send it to me and that's it. All right, bye, pre-kinders. I'll see you tomorrow.